What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Gabe, just on the Fan TV. Back at you another video. Before we get started, I want to say a hey, shout out to my daughter. Uh, three years old, had her first dance recital of the day. Very proud of you, baby. Okay. Uh, also, I want to talk about what are the expectations for Lamar Jackson um, this week and beyond. Uh, before we get into that, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. You guys have been killing it. Thank you so much. And you guys are a big reason why I make these videos. All right. So, Lamar Jackson is going to be. Well, the expectation is that he'll be in the building this week. Um, mandatory OTAs, mandatory minicamp, whatever you want to call it. He's supposed to be there. Now, what do we expect? Um, so on the field, I want to hear that Lamar Jackson is sharp. Okay. Now, he missed this time at voluntary camp uh, due to working with his trainer, working out with his guys. And he's look, he looks like he's in shape. I mean, the rumor is that his trainer said that he's up to 220 pounds. Now... This 220 pounds looks like more muscle. I think he came out of Louisville. He was like 212, 216. But it's the it's the way that he looks toned up now. So, uh, you know, he, he can take more punishment. You know what I mean? It's, in terms of sacks, we're not trying to see Lamar Jackson run the ball all day. And Lamar Jackson himself says he wants to pass the ball more. He's been saying that for years, though. The media's not listening to that. But he's been saying that. I just want to pass the ball to my guys. He's been saying that for years. But... I want to see that he's sharp this week. You know what I mean? He took this time off to get better, work with his coaches. And I'm not, I'm not, when I say sharp, I don't mean perfection. You know, obviously there's going to be some mispasses here or there, but I want to hear that um, he's hitting guys in stride, hitting guys on target, and that when a ball hits the ground, it's because of good defense. It's because of um, maybe a wide receiver drop, even though we don't want to hear about any drops. But I want, I want Lamar Jackson to be sharp. You feel me? So uh, that's one thing I'm looking forward to. Also, uh, Greg Roman said in his um, in one of his pressers a week or two ago that there's a 20% of the offense that Lamar Jackson now has to learn. And as Ravens fans, I mean, we had to wonder what is this 20%, right? Because as Willie Snee said in the, in the pre video I did previously, Greg Roman doesn't change up too much. From game to game, you get what you get. Um, there's even some stuff that will show you that Greg Roman's kind of running the same stuff he ran back for the 49ers, back for the Bills. It hasn't changed too much. So what is this new 20% we're talking about? Now, me personally, I think I'd like to see the Ravens do some more three wide receiver sets. Um, I looked it up. Last year, they went in three wide receiver sets 43% of the time, which was third lowest in the NFL. Now, this the, being in three wide receiver sets doesn't mean it guarantees success, nothing like that. But I just want to say that with the players that the Ravens have right now, you got to get these guys on the field to give them a chance to showcase their talent. And I know everybody's saying 2019, three tight end sets, but um, unless it's a power running situation where three tight ends is necessary, I want to see the offense progress, keep going forward, keep moving forward. Now, that, that doesn't mean I don't want to see two tight end sets. I would love to see Likely and Andrews on the field, um, Andrews and Cole or Andrews and Boyle. I would love to see that. But three tight end sets, I'm not as excited about that as everybody else because I think the Ravens can run the ball almost out of any set. And... Um, so with this 20% that he's going to add in, that Greg Roman's going to add in, what's that going to look like? Like I said, I want to see some three wide receiver sets. I would like to see them uh, sometimes this season go empty. Now, Lamar Jackson in 2019 was successful when the Ravens were empty. And 2020, we didn't see it as much. And 2021, there was just no reason to do it because the offensive line was so bad. Right? So I, I want to see that the true creativity is coming out of this 20%. Because if, if Greg Roman is going to make a, a statement saying that he has to learn uh, new phases of this offense, then I need to see, we need to see that this new phases of the offense or something that's genuinely different. Also, maybe some of this 20% is under center stuff. Now, I'm not as excited about the under center stuff. If they add it in, great. I don't have an issue with it. It's just because the Ravens run a pistol offense. The pistol... Um, you know, instead of being in a shotgun at what, like seven yards, the pistol is almost what, three to five yards. So you still can get that play action motion. You can still get that sprint rollout motion from the pistol. Being on the center, I'm not sure how much that changes. You know what I mean? So, um, but if they do add that, I would like to see it as a new wrinkle to the offense. So I'm not going to uh, put it down completely because it would be something different to see. And uh, there was talks about it last year. But I think when Lamar Jackson um, got covid and missed, uh, I believe, like with the first two weeks of training camp because of COVID. Maybe that kind of got put on the shelf because we really didn't see much um, under center last year, if any. Right? You know, so very, very limited snaps under center. Um, and also, I'm looking forward to the Lamar Jackson press conference uh, because 
at some point th during these three days, he's going to have to talk. I, I would imagine, you know, I'm not saying it's forced upon him. He has to, but as the franchise quarterback showing up for a uh, mandatory minicamp, you would think the media, the team, hell, even Lamar Jackson himself would just like to speak, you know, get it out there because we haven't really heard much from him besides, you know, Twitter. Now, if you go through his tweets, he's obviously he's retweeting Raven stuff. He retweeted the uh, Studio 44 injury, uh, interview, excuse me, that um, Marlon Humphrey did with Mark Andrews. So he's still in tune with the team. So I had no worries about whether or not he's committed to the Ravens, especially for this season. But, you know, we just want to hear about certain things he was doing during the offseason because we can see the video. But, you know, it'd be nice to hear him explain things like that. So um, for Lamar Jackson... Uh, that's the expectations for me for this week. Now, for this season, obviously, I think that if the Ravens still lean on what they did last year, it was they went 54-46 pass last season. And that was a big improvement from the previous two years where they were both 58-42 run. Okay? So they went to a more pass-heavy approach last year. Well, at least for the Ravens pass-heavy. Still ranked in kind of the bottom of the league in terms of passing. Uh percentages per game you know in terms of how many times they actually pass the ball but that's that's okay so if if i can see that number go and kind of stay in that same range 55 55 45 uh 54 46 i'm fine with that um so for this reason for lamar jackson i think this is a season where everything you know he stays healthy everybody's healthy we he could finally crack that four thousand yard mark passing and I'm not trying to get into the numbers battle and the debate, but I think that's a big, big step for him um, as a passer. I think he's a he's a really, really good passer. I think Lamar Jackson is a great passer. But um, just having that 4,000 yard season, I think, is a big deal. And I think it might be the it would be the four, the first 4,000 yard season in Ravens history. I would have to check on Joe Flacco's career. Um, so yeah, so I like to see that. And then let's get back to between 30 and 35 touchdowns again for Lamar Jackson, and let's knock the interceptions back down. So that's kind of what I'm expecting from Lamar Jackson from, you know, what we're going to see this week from him to training camp to throughout the season. You know, I think that he's going to come in sharp. I think he's going to come in ready to play. I don't have too much doubts about that, but I do want to hear the reports that Lamar Jackson looks good. He looks like Lamar Jackson. Um, he looks good in the highlight videos with the trainers and with the receivers that aren't here, but it's a different ball game now. You know, he's going to be throwing to guys that's actually going to be on the team. So that's what I'm looking forward to seeing. Yeah. And, come here. And crashing the party. This is my daughter Katie. You had to dance Saturday. They say hi. hi. Okay. All right. I'm coming right up. But anyway, uh, so my special guest Katie, come, Katie coming in. Uh, it's your boy Gabe with Just Not Fan TV. I'm out.